everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be carrying on with a series that I started in February where I talk about creative projects that you can start to celebrate the Sabbaths and it can be something that you create a series of so that you can bring them out at each part of the year depending on what thing you decide to make and this is a tag so if you decide to make anything from any of these videos and you are inspired to create something then you can post it on social media on instagram on twitter i don't know anything about twitter um or you could make a youtube video and you could use the tag um hashtag wheel of the year creations i would love to see what you guys make um so yes I talked about a lot of ideas in the first video so um, if you don't get any ideas in this video then definitely go and check out that one and there will be a couple more videos in this series. Um, I am trying to make them more often because I've already written all of the plans for it so it should be easy but I don't know. Anyway let's get started with the first idea. So the first one is um, paintings so making a series of different paintings, one to celebrate each time of year um, and this can be completely up to you as to what you paint. I know this is very vague so um, something that I would do if I decided to do a series of paintings is I would do a landscape for each part of the um, year. So I would have, I would, I'd take a picture of a landscape and I would take a picture of the same landscape at the eight different times of the year when you celebrate each Sabbath and I would paint each picture. So you would see how like the trees change, um, how the fields look different depending on what landscape you decide to paint or if there's like water in it, um, you might capture the different species of bird or something that's out at different times of year um, and this could be something that is really lovely for you to decorate your altar with for each of the different um, times of year and each of the sabbats when the sabbath comes around you can put out that painting that you made um, and it can help you connect to a certain landscape if that is important to you in your craft um, and it kind of can hold the energies of that place at that time so that you can draw on that in spell work if you need to. Um, so yes, that is the first idea. The next one is a Wheel of the Year Instagram. Now I made a whole video on how you can um, take different um, ideas of different witchy things and you can make different Instagram accounts around them. Um, so if you're interested in that um, and interested in using Instagram as a creative medium, um, you can go and check out that video after this one. Um, so every time you notice outside that the wheel of the year um, is turning, then you can take a picture of it and you can put it on your Instagram. So then when you look back at your grid, you can see the cycle go around and around again um, so that you can keep track of all of these photos um, without like making like a folder on your phone. You can kind of keep track of it on Instagram instead because you could just create an album on your phone if you wanted to. Um, but I love to do this when I make content. I can look back at the way that the world changes as the wheel of the year turns um, and I have started posting more pictures on my Patreon. It's one of my main things that I'm doing at the moment as well as all of my like walkie talkie videos whatever um, so that I can then scroll back and look at the um, trees and the flowers and stuff changing throughout the year. So I really really love that. Um, you could also use the Instagram to share ideas of how to celebrate all the Sabbaths um, and you could do like proper photo shoots at each time of year so this could be a way that you celebrate the Sabbath so you could dress up in colours of that Sabbath um, and you could um, take pictures of yourself um, in that time of year with that outfit on um, or you could dress up as like a deity that is associated with that time of year and add it to that creative project. So yes, then you can look back. You can make a photo album instead. It doesn't have to be an Instagram account. It could be more private. You could make like a scrapbook. Um, I love scrapbooking. I haven't scrapbooked in 
a long time um, but it is really really fun to kind of bring the pictures together and to make something really really uh, beautiful to look back at and to keep all your memories in so yes the next one is mini sabbat boxes and i would love to make this but i am just concerned about collecting eight different boxes and having to store all of that i think it might be a bit excessive um so yes they could be really small though so yeah but i'd kind of want to make bigger ones so that they'd last and i could add to them over the years i don't know but you can add like little dry natural items in each of the sabbats because i love to go for a walk on each of the sabbats and sometimes i collect something from my book so i dry them out and then um i sometimes i put it in like a little jar for that sabbat um but it would be really nice to have like a little box that i could put my um natural items in from that time of year and then also you could then use those items in spell work and you could draw on the energies of those particular times of year so that could be another really useful thing for magical workings and things like that um and you could also decorate the boxes so that's another um creative task within itself um so you could like paint them and you could dry flowers and you could stick them on top of it you could put some biodegradable glitter on it i feel really guilty that i still have a load of non-biodegradable glitter in my cupboard and I don't know what to do with it because it's really really not good for the planet but yes um and you could even do something that I've been really really wanting to try which is wood burning you could like um burn stuff into the boxes if you have like a wooden box um so that is a couple of ideas or you could put crystals that are associated with that time of year in the box um you could add like little um essential oils that are associated with that time of year you could just keep things in there um if your brain works like that that you like to organize some of your magical things into the different times of year or a little pot of tea which is associated with that time of year like some dried tea there's loads of different things that you could keep in these little foxes the next one is um is animal crossing houses so um i've said that you could have two different houses um because then it would make it up to the eight different rooms that you would need um and you could decorate each room to be for that sabbat and you could also decorate your island so that as you're walking around different parts of the island it goes into different times of year or you could just do what I do which is whenever it hits a new time of year like Easter or something I will decorate the island in Easter themed things so I'll get like rabbits out and like eggs and whatever um so I celebrate a lot of holidays in that way um, or like Samhain I just cover the whole island in a load of like spooky witchy stuff um so that's one of my favorite ways to celebrate um the sabbats and it's a nice creative thing um and you don't even have to have two like dedicated houses to decorate different rooms that's just a creative thing you could just decorate your animal crossing house as it turns each time of year or you could decorate the the house that's on harv's island and you could make that the sabbat themed house whatever works for you because i think one two three four six you could get six different sabbats in one house because you've got the upstairs the downstairs and then the four rooms in the middle so it could be possible but you'd have to miss out two sabbats or you'd have to merge two sabbats together so i don't know i think you could merge like ostara and beltane and maybe uh maybon and Lamas, I think you could do that. Yes, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that and I'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> okay, the next one, this is one of my favourite ideas and I really, really want to start doing this and I think I definitely will. So this idea is to write your future self a letter at each Sabbath um, so that for that time of the next year, you get to open it and it's like a time capsule. So you could just talk about whatever you want. 
um, you could just like say, you could manifest stuff in it as well and see if it comes true that time next year. Um, and I think it's just such a nice gift for yourself. Um, and it's something to look forward to because you can look forward to all the letters that you're going to receive and it's like a gift that you get every single Sabbath so it could be like a really really nice um, idea to start doing. Um, yeah I'm definitely going to start doing that, That's, that sounds really fun. Okay this one's really really simple and it's really really easy and you can do it wherever you are, whenever on your phone, which is just to create Pinterest boards. Um, I don't know if that's really, really basic to say, um, but yeah, just the aesthetic of each Sabbath, you can make a little Pinterest board. You can put little ideas of things to do because people make little witchy things on Pinterest, but be, be careful where the information's come from on Pinterest because some of it isn't true because literally anything can go on Pinterest. You can put whatever you want on Pinterest so people can easily put false information on there. But um, some things, like witchy things I save on Pinterest I'm not necessarily going to do without research it's just like fun to have little aesthetic infographics uh, so yes that could be a fun idea if you like making Pinterest boards I love making Pinterest boards I don't have as much time for it lately but it is really really fun okay um the next one, I don't know if I should share because I thought that it would be a really good book idea but I don't know when I'm going to write this book. So I'm going to share it with you guys and maybe one of you guys will write it. So this is uh, writing a story. So you could personify each Sabbath as a character. So you could have like Beltane as a character, you could have like Imbolc as a character or you could use um, deities that are associated with each time of year. So like for Imbolc, you could have um, Bridget and Bridget could be a character in your story um, and you could see how the different Sabbaths um, interact with each other. So the ones at the darker time of year, are they all friends because they have this thing in common? Is there like a divide between like the ones at the lighter time of year and the darker time of year? Do they not like each other? Um, are any of them in relationships, the different Sabbaths? Um, you could even have characters like the Holly King and the Oak King. There's like loads of different ideas you could do with it. That's just some random thing that I, I thought up. Um, and you could think about like what they'd look like, how they dress. Um, and if you had like a fantasy world, you could do like really cool things with like their hair and like give them like extra things like wings and you could give them like mythical pets, like random stuff. I don't know, whatever you guys feel like writing, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I said you could write retellings of the Holly King and Oak King story. You could do mythology retellings if they're associated with different times of year. Um, so that is that idea. Um, and the next one is to go on Minecraft and make a super flat land. I used to do this all the time when I was younger. And then you divide the world into each section of each Sabbath and make a Minecraft village or town um, for each Sabbath. So you could have like all the trees be for that time of year. You can have the little houses in the colours of that Sabbath. Um, you could have shops that are associated with what that time of year is about. So you could have like a little um, Yule tree farm for a Yule um, village and you could have like people selling decorations to go on the Yule tree. Um, and then you could have like Beltane, you could have like flower fields, you could have people selling flowers, you could have people having weddings, um, you could, there's loads of things that you could do and you could have like little people in it, like little Minecraft villagers walking around it. Um, so that is another idea that you could do. The next one is to do with weddings. What a coincidence. Um, so you could plan different weddings around each Sabbath. So if you just like weddings and you find them interesting because there's so many different things to design when people plan weddings. So you could make them all 
supper themed so you could have like a Samhain wedding and it could be like really dark and witchy um you could think about what um what car you would have what your wedding dress would look like um where you'd get married you could think about what um food you would have you could think about what um the wedding reception would look like um you could think about like the little name cards how you design them if you were having a Samhain wedding and you could do this for all the different Sabbaths um and bridesmaid dresses oh, that'd be so cool and like how people's hair is gonna look um so that could be a fun creative thing if you are interested in weddings if that interests you um the next one is um another writing one so this is to write a short story for each Sabbath and it could be the same characters um like the film Holiday but it could have like one main character and it could show how their life changes throughout each Sabbath. Um, or I said you could have like eight completely different stories if you want. And you can make them really witchy so your main character could be a witch if you wanted to. Um, or it could just be mundane and it could just happen to be that Sabbath that all of these events happen on. You can make it any genre um, and it could just be um, interesting to create a set of characters and to follow them on each um, Sabbath throughout the year and see what happens um, and how their life changes and it could just be an interesting thing to write about um, and if you did eight completely different stories then you could have the if you did eight completely different stories, you could keep the same characters and you could have each of the stories be from a different character's point of view. And it could be like their story, something that's happening in their life that the story is about. But you still have the characters that were in, that were main characters of the other stories as side characters in that. So you'd see how they've progressed since it's been their story. So, yeah. <laughs> Or it could be that they're all linked together by one place. So it could be that these people don't actually know each other, but they go to the same place. So it could be like a park in a town that everybody goes to often. So this park has like an important place in people's um, lives because they, they go there. Um, but the people who also go there often, they don't know them. So... You could base it around that. I don't know. Yes, and you could talk about how the park changes throughout the year. As I've said, with all of the other ideas. Um, and I said, think Invisible String by Taylor Swift. Um, with like the Centennial Park and the way that, that the, the leaves change to gold throughout the song. Um, because she's... Um, talking about her life and how it's changed since the first time that she was in the park and now she is showing her significant other around the park so yes it's really really nice like that um but yeah that is all of the ideas i'm going to be sharing for today there are still tons of ideas i have left to share with you guys if you have any of your own ideas please leave them in the comments down below i would love to hear it but i am trying to cover as many different mediums as i can so that everybody has an idea to do and um yes definitely check out the other video in this series if you want some more ideas and i'll see you guys all soon bye